So I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom attribute so that you can select all of the tail controllers at once with one button. And the button is going to be up here in the custom section of your um, uh, Maya screen thing. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to open this little thing down here, which is the Mel script editor, and you're going to go um, hit this, what is it, this button I think? Yeah. And that clears all of the uh, script that you have. Just delete whatever downs, what's down there. You probably won't have anything because I was working on other custom attributes earlier. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do, once that's empty, you're going to want to select all of the controllers one by one. And they're really skinny, so it's really annoying to select all seven of them, which is why we're making one to select all seven at once. So you're going to take this script here, you're going to copy it, and you're going to paste it down here, right? And then since you have all this script, Maya knows what to do with it if you make a button to execute all of this at once. So you're going to want to go um, save script to shelf, and then type in the name of it. So I'm going to say Dante's tail or actually it really doesn't show very much of the text so I'm just gonna go tail uh, one because I probably have something for another character's tail up there already so hit OK now up here you're gonna have this thing called tail one so if I deselect that and I select tail one up here bada bing bada boom you have all of your seven controllers selected with one button so if you really want to be creative you can um, select four of them and then do the same thing just clear it out select the four of them Ooh, <laughs> select these babies why is it doing that one two three four okay i'm gonna delete what's down here and i'm gonna copy paste file save script to shelf tail two okay and then i'm going to clear that out again select the last three controllers one two three um delete what's down here copy paste file save script to shelf tail three okay so now i can get some really really nice looking um shapes with this so if i move these three up and then i'm like ooh, now i'm gonna go to the last ones and i'm gonna curve it down Ooh, look at that that's so nice and then what if i select this tail one and then bring it all up like that ooh, ooh. so um that is just how you would do that so if you have a rig with like 11 um controls on the tail you can make it easier on yourself by making buttons that select multiple controllers because it's always nice to have as many controllers as possible so that you can do lots of fun stuff with it. Like there are rigs that have like 200 controllers on them. So um, having 11 tail controllers or seven tail controllers isn't really that bad. Um, you just have to know how to make custom attribute, uh, custom selection tool. And then um, yeah, you're good to go and have fun animating.